best thing about Detroit, I would have to say, is the people. People of Detroit are probably some of the warmest people you ever meet, but they're some of the strongest people you ever meet. I remember the Motown Review, man. It was a time that you could see everybody in Motown for two dollars. Everybody. You know, when somebody says, we're going to do such and so, they say, OK, let's just talk. When you do it, that's when it means something in Detroit. That's that working town ethic. It's, it's a put up or shut up town. I'm going around collecting sounds. So after I collect the sounds, put them together in a beat. Where else could you catch all types of sounds and get a history of Detroit music and cars and trains and all types of rich sonics? And that's just my own obsession. Certain sounds, depending on how they're arranged, take certain shapes. You know, they take, take up a certain space in my mind. And the influences come every time I, I wake up and go out. And there's always an influx of music that I'm collecting, the sounds I'm collecting. So those always have an influence. But now we're down in the studio and we've collected a few raw sounds. So we need to chop them. So this is, these are the sounds from the, uh, from the pressing plant right here. I like that. Yeah, Nowadays, honesty is at an all-time low. Everything is fabricated. Everything's more style over substance. Everything's more look over feel. If your records aren't grabbing people emotively, then you're really not doing anything. And there is something about Detroit for me. stayed across the street. We the sister. Marvin stayed on Appline. Smokey stayed on how to drive. <laughs> you know, we have parties and they might be riding through and stop. Get out the car and come to the party. And blow a couple of do on a cappella and, and split. <laughs> being a professional at the same time as being a little kid, that's a large philosophical take behind my label. You know, always remember the spirit of play. This is more or less the Detroit wall. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. There's this whole phenomenon now of uh, laptop DJs, people that don't even buy records. I'm like, remember that DJing is a physical thing, that making music is a physical thing. <laughs> it's a whole nother track. <laughs>